As Dr. Ben Evans demonstrates, traditional wing design has its drawbacks. Aerodynamicists are always trying to improve the efficiency of wings, which really means trying to improve the ratio of the lift to the drag of the wing. One of the things that was causing a lot of drag and dropping the lift on the wing was what's called a wingtip vortex. The wind tunnel is simulating an ordinary wing traveling through the air at a typical cruising speed. In the central section of the wing, you can see that the smoke is very smooth until it reaches the tip of the wing. And once we're at the tip of the wing, you can see this vortex pattern forming. A wingtip vortex is caused when high pressure air under the wing spills upwards at the tip to meet low pressure air above. This creates turbulence and therefore drag, forcing the engine to work harder. The 1970s fuel crisis meant a solution was needed, and aeronautical engineer Richard Whitcomb, working on NASA's aircraft energy efficiency program, found one. Whitcomb suggested that by changing the design of an aircraft's wingtips into vertical winglets, they would create less drag and burn less fuel. As I move the smoke trace towards the end of the wing this time, instead of having the single strong vortex that we saw in the case without the winglets, what's happening now is that the flow is smearing out almost into a sheet, making the wing more efficient. Adding a winglet prevents the mixing of the two airflows above and below the wing, reducing the vortex. 